the, the name that everybody goes on about, of course, Lenny McLean, and you, you, you beat him in that first fight. Was it the first time that you saw him was when he came into the ring? No, no, we had, there was a pal of mine at a pub up at um, Hoxton. Uh -huh. At Hoxton, he had a pub in Hoxton. And McLean used to go in there with his mates and drink. And then when it's all right, time, time, he said, no, that's all right, we're having a late one. Well, no, we're, we're, come on, we're, and, he, and he would stay there. And he'd done it night after night, so my mate came on and he said, uh, I've got this geezer, Roy, you know, do some folk, you know, uh, we can get him out. I said, all right, so I'll be up there Saturday. So I went up there Saturday, and I don't know if you heard about it or not, but um, he, he, didn't, uh, he, he didn't appear in the pub that night. So I went down a pub that I know that he works at, the White Art in um, Stepney. You know, he minds the door there, so I went down and there was all that trouble up there. He said, I said, keep out of the pub, he went, all right. I said, and uh, he said, I heard, I heard you want to have a fight with me. He said, yeah, I'll have, I'll have that. I went, right, I hope we get it on, win a take call. And that was it, so um, that's how it all started. And, and take us through the, that first fight. Was you know What was it like for you? Was it was it a good fight, easy yeah, fight? Yeah, well, no, no, well, I, I trained hard, hard, hard for it, and um, I was fit, as fit as you know, anybody could be. And then when I got in the ring with him, you know, it shook me the size he was. He, he was a big lump. And they had trouble getting the, the gloves on his um, his hands. And so um, I thought, all right, I worked with his body, you know, weakening him, because it being so big and tall. Right? So I said, the bell went, and until it was a Jen Ackman and Jack O'Allen was there as, as guests of mine, you know. And anyway, I was under and I was smashing away at his belly. And then, he said, and, he, and he was going, look, he can't hurt me. Well, anybody can stand there when you're hitting him. I was like, put one on his chin, and that stopped him. And I just kept going in, you know, crashing away at him. And, and he hit me a few times, but there wasn't um, damaging punches. You know, they was hurtful, but they wasn't damaging. And, and one time I even dropped my hands and let him hit me. So it just shows that, yeah. Uh, what the story I said the, 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 the next time that he done me that I was on that James thing that backs the story up because how comes he can hit me one night and I don't go over and another night I hit me and I fall all over the place so uh, anyway I'd, I'd done him in free I just kept walking through and whacking him and when I went back to the ring not your pal and, and that jacker on I said let him do some work let him do some work because I was attacking all the time well that ain't the way I fought so I went in the third round and just smashed him and then and in the end, he went, tell him to stop it, Roy. I said, what? Whacked him again. He went, tell him to stop it. So that's it. He wanted the referee to stop it, so I put my hands up and won the fight. Uh, did that give you any special satisfaction, or was it just another fight here? Just another fight. And, and what, what about then the return? So there was this story about the ginseng, and is yeah. that, that valid? It was really... Yeah, I was going up to with Alfie Atchison to... Um, to the fights, and we stopped off, off at this uh, play elf shop. And I was well, they got any ginseng? They went, Yeah, and they, I was thinking I wanted the capsules, but they kept bought a bottle. I said, You got no capsules? I said, No, I'll leave the bottle for So I took the bottle and I drank half a bottle in it while I was um, going up there thinking I'm going to be like Man Mountain Dean. But uh, it, it don't, you work some reverse. They were saying, You're all right. I was all relaxed. I was saying, Yeah, lovely. Because I was all sedated. Lovely, yeah, I feel lovely. It wasn't burning no nervous energy up when I think. Then I said, well, you're next on. So I was generally getting another warm-up, but I went, I was saying, wrong, I said, well, I, you know, I, had, I was lifeless, I couldn't, couldn't do nothing. I even tripped into the ring, everything, I was the right state. And obviously I went out and he knocked me out. It was, uh, uh, and had you done the same preparation and everything? Yeah, yeah, I was fit, 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 yeah. Because I knew he was a big lamp and... and uh, you know, I, I expected the wing was already done in once, so you know, there was no way that I thought he could have done me again. Do me anyway. And uh, was that your first defeat? Yeah. And how, how did you take that? Well, it's the uh, it's the name of the game, isn't it? So you win some, you lose some. You asked for a rematch, though, didn't you? Yeah. And th you, that, you did the rematch. Yeah, and that was it. And then I, uh, like a plonk, I took a bit of my knee, and, and that. Um, Works exactly the same thing, but what I did, I took four, four capsules, thousand units, in the morning, before thinking that it'd be in my system, and it'd be out by the night time, but it wasn't. It was still there, and if you see, if you watch the video, and all my fights are, and um, and I'm I'm alive, you know, jumping, up, come on, but it, it sees me. I just come down the stairs, I got it going, and you can see it looks like I just got out of bed, 
I won't go on that. So, uh, do you do you ever would you have liked to have fought no, him again? Yeah, no, I challenged him and challenged him. But I even challenged him on, on television. What was it? Uh, James Wilder. Was it Gary Bushell or Gary Bushell show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, it, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have it now. I think he um he was trying to get fit because one day when I was out with the, they must have told him that I run up this hill, and it is a fierce old hill. And I was out with the dogs. I saw someone running, stop walking, and I looked at him, off, and it was it was McLean. So I think he was just testing out how, how fit I was, or if he could do the same, get, get his fit as me. I don't know. But anyway, it's, I can't. You know, silly talking about him now because he's yeah. dead. You know, he can't sort of come back. But I challenged him. I went to a, a what do they call it, a charity thing for um, his his uh, cousin's son who was nicked in Spain or something. They wanted to get some money for him. So I went at a place in Stepney and he was in there. I said, keep calling yourself to go. And I said, me and you get it on together. Come on, I said, well, what, I want it. So he went, Roy, I'm too old for it now. I said, too old for it now? I said, I was as old as you when I, when I beat you, years ago. And he went, oh, no, well, I wouldn't fight no Roy. And he said, well, mate, take you out of that club, because he looked like a club. Up the, up the, and it was nice enough, to, you know, to, to me and whatever, but he wouldn't fight me, and that was it. Does, does that kind of annoy you that that he did the two victories? To yeah, the oh world? yeah, of course it does. Yeah, it's just a one blot in my life, and it's it's, it's a big hurt to me pride, aren't it? I, what it's what makes it hurt more if he had beat me properly, officially while I was fit, then you know I've got nothing to say. I've been beat, but I wasn't proper, and he and he's he's got he got on my by beating me, named the governor and made a big fuss of him. But he, he wasn't really the gun now. Right. Did, did you feel, I mean, like, there was, uh, Cliff Fields was a great fighter, wasn't he? Did you yeah. feel he was one of the best? Oh, he was the best, yeah. He, he, he better was... than the two of you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have thought, I wouldn't have thought Cliff Field. He was a big natural everywhere. I'm a middleweight. He was a big natural everywhere, and he would have, um, he done, he done the knock the clean out twice. Mm. Johnny Waldron knocked the clean out twice. And being that he wouldn't fight me, so I thought that bloke he fought Kevin Paddock. Kevin Paddock beat him, so I thought, Kevin, and I, I think that was my last fight, Kevin Paddock. So, and you, over the years, always tried to get Lenny back in. Yeah, 